Hi, and welcome back to another edition of State of the Union. Uh, where I'm going to talk to you guys about what we discussed at the student forum meeting today, March 1st, 2010. Uh, the first thing on our agenda that we discussed was we talked about subsidizing tickets for a Union College playoff hockey game. There's actually potentially three that we want to do this coming weekend at uh, Muscle Rink. And how it would work is tickets are costing $6 each for students. So you wouldn't be able to use your student ID, so we're going to team up with the athletics department and we are going to subsidize tickets for the first 200 students that show up to each one of these games. So if you'd like to go to the game this weekend or games, hopefully there'll be three if we uh, do well enough and win, that uh, you'll be able to go and you won't have to pay any extra money. So student form will, and the athletics department will cover you. So look out for that this weekend and go Union Hockey. Um, the next thing we discussed, we talked about uh, an article in the New York Times that was written about Union College and its relations with Schenectady and how they've changed over the past couple years. And it's actually a very interesting article. So your your class officers or somebody should be emailing that article to you, or you can check it out on uh, the New York Times website. And I'm sure if you search for Union College or Schenectady, New York, it'll come up. But it's actually really interesting. And as a Union student and a member of the Union community, you should check it out because it's pretty cool. Um, we also talked about a, uh, a survey to uh, send out about the Student Affairs Assessment Committee for students, and uh, the committee just wants to know about interactions that you've had with uh, any administrators on any level, so look for that to be coming in your email soon. Uh, in terms of finances, we, in, uh, we allocated $1,650 to MAPS Club. Uh, they were approved for club status at our last meeting, and we just gave them some money so that they can have money for the spring term to hold events uh, so that they can function as a club and and really be successful here at Union. Um, so that motion was passed 13-02, uh, meaning 13 voted in favor, 0 voted against, and 2 members abstained. Um, from the Interfraternal Council, we got feedback from the Kegless Weekend at Union College. It was the second Kegless Weekend in a row, and this weekend it was a trial run, and you didn't have to bring your own beer this time, but beer was served in cans. Unfortunately, there were some incidents, or there was a incident that was regrettable, and it showed that Union, sometimes Union College students aren't always mature enough to be able to handle these kind of situations when alcohol was involved, because someone... Um, I, I'm, I hope that it was inadvertently, but I wasn't there, I can't say, but somebody threw a full can of beer into a crowd of people and it hit someone on the head, and that's not cool and that can't happen. And if we as students want to be responsible on this campus, if we want to have rights and not have things taken away from us, this is not the way to approach it. So I'm telling you, the student body, that if you want to have any kind of footing in terms of rights here on campus, you can't be doing stuff like that. It's just not cool. So and just cut it out because we're going to have all of our rights as students taken away and you're going to see things get way worse if you can if you continue to use stupid things like this so let's just move away from that and grow up because we're all adults here so after that little venting session um, Union is going kegless um, next year and it's an insurance liability um, and this spring sessions are going to be held by uh, Director of Greek Life Tim Dunn in his office. He's going to hold something similar to office hours and he's going to be able to talk about this policy with not just members of the Greek community but members of the entire union community to really get them better informed about what going kegless really entails, why they're doing it, and so on and so forth. So look for that next term. Um, the class of 2010, the seniors, they are working on a event uh, to have a celebration of sorts of being done with senior thesis. They're working with Chets and they're working with Skeller hopefully to combine an event where you can invite your thesis advisor to come and just have, have sit down and have a beer and just talk and really kind of uh, celebrate a big weight being taken off your shoulders. Um, they're also in discussion with dining services about allowing meal swipes and having uh, a menu at Skeller or, you know, having other things like the spinach and artichoke dip that they have at Union College events at this event. So it would be for seniors only. Uh, you have to be 21, present a valid ID and a Union College ID just like you normally would for Chet's. But um, the event is going to be next Friday, uh, one week from this Friday, and it's going to be 6 to 8 p.m., and it's open to all seniors, and your advisors will be invited, so look out for that. You'll be hearing more of that from the senior class president, Sean Gorski. Um, 
The class of 2011 has brought up, uh, there's been concerns talked about with the trolley and walking escorts and people not being fully aware of what these services that union offers its students really entails. So the student forum uh, will look to invite members of campus safety to our meetings starting next term to really discuss this uh, with us so that we can relay the information to you so that you, the student body, can be better informed about the trolley and about walking escorts and other services that are offered to the student body. So look out for that next term. Um, the class of 2012 will be going in front to the Minerva Council this Thursday to see if they can get funding for an event that they, they wish to have, which would incorporate members of the Schenectady business community restaurants giving samples of their food at different Minerva houses for students to taste and hopefully uh, acquire a taste for so they can go out into the Schenectady community and really enjoy these restaurants. Um, also, this Wednesday, um, Symposium House is having an event uh, called Roots at, uh, with Karen Ferrer-Munez uh, from the Multicultural Affairs Office, so look out for that one this Wednesday. Uh, food will be served, I believe it starts at 5.30, and Symposium House is right behind West College, um, 233 Seward Place. It's right on the corner of, of Seward and Roger Hull, so come check that out on Wednesday. Also on Monday, which is today, so you might not be seeing this in time, at 6.30, the Invisible Children will be giving a presentation. Um, Invisible Children is an organization that talks about uh, refugees in, uh, in Rwanda, if I'm not mistaken, and so that should be tonight. I believe they're having a discussion and showing a movie. Also, uh, this Thursday, Mark Sterner, uh, who is a motivational speaker of sorts, will be coming to talk about the ill effects of drunk driving. And also the spring break bags that are so popular and have been so popular at Union over the past few years will be given out this week. Uh, you'll be able to pick them up Sunday at West uh, during Sunday brunch. So look out for that coming this way. That's it for this week and that's it for uh, this term actually. So I hope everyone has a good finals week and has a great spring break and I'll look forward to seeing you next term. Take care.